When you first created your Domotes account, you were automatically set up as the account owner, or what we call Team Master. As the Team Master, you can add team members or field operators who have limited privileges. In this video, we will discuss how you should configure your account for your team, which includes adding team members and managing secure access to your Domotes account. Let's first start with how you can ensure secure access to your Domotes account. As the team master, when you log into portal.domotes.com and access your account tab, you'll notice three subheadings, two-factor authentication, SAML SSO, and change password. Domotes encourages you to use a unique and strong password. You can change this password under the change password section by entering your current password and then entering a new password based on the stated criteria. Note that if you ever forget your password, you can use the forgot password link at the portal.domotes.com login screen. To further establish strong security, we recommend you either leverage a single sign-on service which helps confirm the identity of users or take advantage of two-factor authentication. If you look at the SAML SSO section, you will see several common services that can be used for identity authentication. In most cases, identity providers utilize the well-established security assertion markup language, which means that Domotes will work with most identity providers. You can follow the step-by-step -step guide for generating secure URL depending on your identity provider service. If you do not utilize an SSO service, then we strongly encourage you to take advantage of two-factor authentication. In the two-factor authentication section, you can enable 2FA. You do need to enter your current password, but then you can use any appropriate 2FA application, such as Duo, Google Authenticator, LastPass, etc. At this point, your account should be set up in a secure manner, and you are ready to add any team members or field operators to your account. First, let's talk about the differences between a team member and a field operator. A team member has access to all of your Domotes agents, this means that if someone on your team adds a new agent to your account, a team member will be able to see and access that agent. A field operator, on the other hand, only has access to agents that they installed or have been granted access to. The intention of a field operator is to allow you, as the owner of the account, a way in which you can limit exposure to certain clients or networks if there is concern around a new employee or someone that may be a contractor. For larger organizations, you may consider team members as part of a centralized team that needs access to all customers and field operators could be a part of a regional team. Only the team master can add or remove team members and field operators. It is also the team master's responsibility to allow or force two-factor authentication. It is easy to add a user to your team by clicking the Create Team Member button. At this point, you can select the user type and provide the details for your team member. An email will automatically be generated for that user and they can then set their login credentials as appropriate. In the case of the field operator, you can then assign which agents are accessible to the user. It is important to note that you, as the team master, can remove or add agents from the field operator at any time. For all users under your account, you can delete them at any time, completely removing their ability to access your agents or networks. One thing to point out about team members and field operators is that while they only have access to the agents assigned to them, they do have complete access to asset management and remote connectivity of each device on that network. 